ladies and gents welcome back it is an absolute beautiful day out here loving it and i uh, got some good news for a change the cbx is sold a dude from south carolina bought it uh yesterday on the old ebays and he already sent me the deposit so fingers crossed he's actually going to go through with it um i don't know i've talked to the guy well we've been texting back and forth he has like five of five cbx's so he's like the perfect dude to sell it to um yeah super stoked on that so now i'm going full bore into listing all my other cbx parts on ebay we got to get down i have an oem exhaust that's in pretty good condition um the big ticket thing that i'm going to sell is the car rack because big ticket wise it's fully serviced by uh jack at oldschoolcarbs.com he's the same guy that uh does the carb work for jay leno cbx and he's just the go-to guy um uh, for carb setup so he serviced the carbs on those polished them all out they're perfect so we're going to photograph those, get them listed on the old flea bag, and then, oh, excuse me, start going through everything else. I'm debating whether I should polish some of the parts and sell them. Um, that was kind of one of my ideas. So, yeah, we're going to get that done. I'm going to miss her. And then I need to order uh, battery acid for the, uh, the old battery there. At the auto parts store, they only sold it in a gallon jug, and I don't need a gallon. I need probably a few ounces, maybe 12 or something, I don't know. So we're going to knock that out and then uh, see what else we can get into today. Oh yeah, I think my buddy Cody's going to stop by to do a little ripping today. It's kind of like the perfect day to ride. It's not too hot, not too cold. And I'm pretty sure that he has a race coming up this weekend uh, on Saturday because he wasn't able to go to the quail. So, yeah. Also, yeah, if you're going to the quail, let me know. Um, I forgot all about the quail, kind of, for a quick second. we got to get the BMW cleaned up. And then also, I want to get my truck all cleaned up and change the oil before we drive all the way to Carmel. Not that it's that far, but it's time to change the oil. Um, so, yeah. Yeah. Quail preparation. Totally forgot about that. It's in like a couple days. I say. I, hold on. I'm going to ask you trick questions. Oh, God. You're screwed. <laughs> All right, guys. Cody's over and he bought, brought a new friend from uh, Arizona. Tell, tell the people who you are. Uh, James Flynn. I do a little bit of what Cody does, except kind of a lower level, a lot younger age. So I'm trying to be like Cody. He's on the rise. He's so, yeah. The rise. Trying to be like Cody. Cody brought him to uh, like basically Cody. where the champions train, the hardest <laughs> of the hard, the big redwoods here. And uh, let's check out his bike. I haven't seen one of these things new. I've seen a bunch of old ones. So what are you riding here, dude? Uh, it's a Gas Gas X3, XC300. Um, All right. She's uh, 300. It's got the recluse. Um, no, just the cover. Just the cover. Um, <laughs> and, well, it has a recluse manual clutch. Um, I prefer the manual clutches over the autos. A lot better feeling. Um, helps me maneuver a little better. What year is this one? This is an 18. It's pretty nice. Yeah, she's uh, you know, a little beat up right now, but. Well, you're riding her. She cleans Only up well. Hours. She oh. cleans up. She cleans up well. <laughs> it's only plastics. Yeah, just plastics and it's be good to go again. Yeah, and uh, you're riding today without an electric start, so yeah, good luck. Take the battery's dead, but... It's all right. Take plenty of water. You'll need yeah. it. <laughs> and the creek's clean. I tested it uh, recently. Oh, really? <laughs> yeah. Nice. Yeah, it's funny. We got a uh, this, like, purifier thing, and it came with a water tester. So I tested the water out of the tap, which comes from the water company up the street, which gets the water out of the creek. It was like, I want to say 64 or something per million. I tested the creek. It was like seven. It was almost like pure, pure. I was like, fuck, we should be just drinking straight out of the creek. Yeah. <laughs> then Cody's got his war horse over here. This is a 300, right? Yeah, 300. The transfer port injection. Yeah. TPI, big deals. Still got my kickstart, baby. Yeah, I still got the kickstart. The uh, the new KTM's apparently they're not going to be putting the kickstart on them, and uh, we think that might be not the best idea. Um, 
yeah, it's, it's weight savings, kind of like on my flat track bike, and I can't start the damn thing, so saves a lot of weight. <laughs> well, you guys have fun. Yeah, we'll Be come safe. back down here in a little bit here. Right on. And then regroup. Helmet's still wet from yesterday. Why'd you sweat so much? <laughs> 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 when you come back, we'll play on the three-wheeler. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Big time. Oh, look at the creek, boys. It's just beautiful today. All right. Got the old gas gas started. We'll see what this kid's got. A little slimy pivot turn to the right. Oh, yeah. Cody handled her. Oh yeah, that bike smells good. Oh, nice. Yeah, pretty smooth, youngster. Pretty smooth for the youngster. Super weird, it was running good, then running horrible. So, recovery mission. Let's see if we can pull her out of here. Oh, recovery mission big time, boys. Oh, this is hillbilly. This is hillbilly big time. But it keeps pushing it up a hill. Oh boy. Whoa. Almost rolled her. All right, that's good, that's good. I don't know if we got water in the gas tank or what, but all of a sudden it started running like crap uh, and it won't stay running. So I guess we'll take a look, drain some gas out of her, maybe pull the carb off, see what we got going on. I don't know. Alrighty, I think we found the culprit. Got some uh, blockage there. And then if you look, this is a horrible design, by the way, having the petcock on the carburetor. Stupid, but look at all that blockage. So that's not good. And uh, looks like we'll have to douche out the tank just a little bit, clean this up, pull the carb off, and see if anything made it through. Hopefully it didn't. But I think that's going to be our problem right there. It's what happens when, you know, stuff's 30 some odd years old. This thing's older than I am. What is it? An 82. Oh my goodness. It's way older than I am. So we're going to cut her some slack and give her some clean. All right. So we got the screen cleaned out here and got my O-ring set out. And it looks like the standard O-ring is going to be the best fit. I tried the old metrics and for some reason the standard one fits best so that's what we're gonna run so I cleaned out the uh, the old carb of the 110 and I had this old this little Changlang carb and I measured it and it's the same size the only problem is the way that uh, it mounts it's got a couple nuts here and little grooves so no big deal no big deal just got the Dremel and go in there and cut those bad boys out and then we can reverse the bolts and hopefully make this work on the 110 and see uh, see if she runs. Well, howdy freaking duty, boys. It, uh, it looks like I had sucked up some dirt in the carb. I was going to try and get the Changlang carb to uh, work, but because of the way that uh, the bolting system and the tube bending-ish right there, definitely not gonna work but we got the factory one on there and hopefully it'll uh, stay running good let's see what you got there it goes balance point action there you go <laughs> Damn, I, I missed that. I can't believe I missed that. I'm so bummed about that. <laughs> well, day, day one learning how to ride a three-wheeler. 
I don't, I don't know, I don't have no idea why they ban these things. <laughs> it's like... No. Honestly, my butt cheek kind of hurts right now from when I loop out. Three wheelers and lawn darts, basically. It's life. All right, so what do you think in 1955? Pretty badass. <laughs> Yeah. I don't know anything about that. I'm married. Well, how do you think you got married? Exactly. Uh, you, you, oh, better, yeah, you told me about this. You better watch that. Okay. And you better too. All right. Oh, it's narrated by Lyle Levitt too? You betcha. Did you know he's in the bikes? He's huge in the bikes. Yeah. He worked at a shop called uh, the Cycle Shack in Texas. Really? Yeah. That's how he got his start. What's that? I think this purse. Oh yeah. You did some work to this thing, huh? I didn't actually do a lot to it. It uh, it was restored in the early 2000s by a shop in Georgia, and then it was ridden for like two summers, a little bit, and then sat in storage for over 10 years, and then I kind of brought it back to life. Oh, Is that 5,000 or 54,000 miles? It says 54, but that's not original to the bike. Yeah. So. Who knows, yeah. Thanks. So our new friend Jeff brought us a uh, something to try. It's called motor oil. And uh, it, it, it definitely looks the part. So we're gonna give her a go. Mmm, that's actually really good. It kind of tastes like, that's like a sweet breakfast beer. Yep. Mmm. Coffee. Tasty, yeah. So yeah, 21 and old, older, you know, feel free to enjoy your uh, motor oil. It's a kid-friendly channel. So my buddy Cody brought me this watch. Cody, tell us about you. You got your own signature watch, yeah, huh? Signature watch here. You know, dirt bike specialty. You got dirt bike tread on it there. Who makes yeah. this? We got to show them some this love. This is from Nocturnal Watches. Nocturnal Watches, supporting and the riders. Mostly made of wood. Pull it out. Let's see yeah. it. We got time. So I actually helped design this. Oh. So you know. Oh, I had it upside down. So Cody Web 2. The only number we got is number two. Excellent. On there. Excellent. The sprocket around the outside, because you know. Devils all, in the we're details. All heads in Hell the details yeah. There. So and then it, the cool thing about this company is a lot of the stuff is made of wood. Okay. So it's kind of in lathers. Yeah, nice. Oh, it's got your signature on the inside on the of the band. There. So, so where where can people buy these things at? You can basically go to I guess nocturnalwatches.com. All right, all right. Something like that. Just Google nocturnal. You can go through there, and this watch is on there somewhere. And we're gonna we'll put a, a link down below, so yeah, I'll can, share it. Yeah. So can get figured out. All right, guys. Well, thanks for stopping by. Yeah. What'd you guys totally. think of uh, what? What we name it? What was it? At? Gnarly Mountain. Gnarly Mountain. Gnarly, yeah, Mountain. Gnarly Mountain. It's not as gnarly as the Beamer, but. <laughs> it's, it's <good. laughs> Scoots. Hell yeah. <laughs> Cool. Piece of history. So yeah, big race this weekend. Where are you guys racing? In, uh, Sparks, Nevada. Sparks, Nevada. Yeah, right outside uh, Reno. Yeah. Pretty close to uh, the the interesting place where people go and spend money for. Oh. Uh, Bunny Ranch. Yes. All right. All right. <laughs> I've I've heard of that place uh, via the interwebs. Yeah, 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 I've never been there. Never been. Never been. Never been. <laughs> Hopefully, you know, we make some money and spend there. I mean. Uh, yeah. There. Right. 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 <laughs> All right, so yeah, good times, good times, hanging out with the fellas. Uh, I got a little bit of work done today, and it's not dark, so I guess I should keep working. But, uh, man, half a glass of motor oil, and I feel like doing nothing. All right, guys, it's been a quick minute since I uh, did a little three-wheel romping video. Um, so let's go for a little romp and uh, do some wheelies. Oh! what happens when you let strangers ride your shit oh yeah boys oh yeah whoa 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 Doing the old step up trick. Phew! 
Should we stop the front tire? Oh, almost. Ah, we got it, we got it, we got it. You, yeah. Front tire never stopped, there we go. Just high tower in her, boys. Woo! And up. Oh, and we parked her on the rock. All right, should we try to go over the driveway? I think we can make it. Whoa, yeah, boy! <laughs> getting it just getting her boys all right let's see if we can wheelie down the old bike ramp here oh yeah careful A little two-wheel motion <laughs> Well, we got to show the old 250SX a little bit of love. I know guys just get real bummed when I don't show her in the videos. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that's how you cold start her. Yeah, there's a guy on YouTube that taught me that. His uh, his channel is Zip Ties and Bias Plies. I think he's uh, my Canadian uncle. Oh, shush. You just shush, bud. Oh, oh yeah. We get her to wheelie. She's fucked. Whoa. Almost smacked the tree, boys. Oh. Thank goodness for the old uh, reverse. Oh, uh -huh. <laughs> she tried to buck us, boys. What do you guys think? Did you like that romp? Huh? Do you like doing three-wheeler romps? Are you guys big fans? Huh? Yeah. Yeah, buddy, you're panting. You're panting. You need some waters. All right, guys. Well, it's getting kind of dark, so I guess we should put away some motorcyclers. See if uh, we can get the old R50 to crank over real quick. First kick every time, all the time, as long as you know what you're doing. If you don't know what you're doing, you'll probably, you know, kick it for the rest of your life. Perfect fit. All right, guys, well, I probably had more fun than I did work today, but you know what? That's a win in my book. I'm not complaining one bit. Um, had a great time, had some friends over, made a couple new friends, which is awesome. Um, I'm super glad that uh, Cody's taking the younger, younger riders under his wing and kind of showing them the way and helping them out. Um, that's always really cool in my book. Uh, the big thing in the motorcycle community is definitely always giving back or guiding the uh, the next generation, the younger riders, because that's you know that's our future. And for guys like me who make a living off of motorcycles, I think that the young dudes are super important. So kudos to Cody for uh, you know doing his part. Um, he's he's also a 
big part of the uh, enduro scene and whatnot, which is super cool. Um, KTM is killing it right now, and that whole that whole scene is doing really good. And I'm and I'm glad to be, you know, friends with these guys and and whatnot. It's always it's always good to see any sector of motorcycles doing good. Um, after today, I'm not gonna lie, I'm pretty pretty jealous. I had sold my 450 a couple months ago and I decided that it's probably time I start looking for a replacement. So I'm thinking this time around, maybe we'll get a 200 two-stroke. Uh, just, just my initial thoughts. Uh, let me know what you think. The riding here is super tight, technical. Cody normally brings his 300 here. Um, I'm not gonna get one of those because, well, it's brand new and lots of money, um, even though that TPI is wicked cool. I think I'm gonna I'm gonna be looking in the used market. I just just with starting a business and whatnot, I don't have the coin to throw down on a brand new bike. Um, but yeah, yeah, always good stuff. I had a ton of fun romping three wheelers. Um, it is hilarious watching people ride three wheelers for the first time. Uh, everybody crashes, which even even Cody wiped out. I'm I'm stu I, I'm super bummed that I didn't get it on camera. But uh, the new the new kid uh, he, he he wiped out and it was hilarious. So yeah, that was super fun. Um, yeah, as always, thanks for tuning in. If you're new to my channel, please subscribe while you're here, and we'll see you tomorrow on the next one.